Alright, you see where there are two regions of erectile tissue. This would be the corpus cavernosum, and the one that surrounds the urethra is known as the corpus spongiosum. Actually, somebody double check with me on that because I always get those two confused. Yeah, that's right. I got it right? Yeah. Okay, so corpus cavernosum, corpus spongiosum, urethra. Yes? Okay. Now we got to put it back together. Okay, on this model, here we have the testes, this is the epididymis, and then from there we move on into the vas deferens and the uh, lymphatic vessels and nerve vessels and blood vessels. So if I were to put a piece of tape around this whole entire thing, this would be the spermatic cord. This entire thing here would be the spermatic cord. Got it? Okay, now if we look on the inside, here's the bladder. This structure right here is the prostate gland. The prostate gland. Now, do you see this small duct right here? That's the ejaculatory duct the ejaculatory duct. And on this side, we have the pubic symphysis. Got it? Yep. Now, if we take a look at this model, this is a much better model, but I, have, I only have one of these. So you have to take a look at all of the models. So here is the penis. Here is the corpus cavernosum. This is the corpus spongiosum. This would be the urethra, right? So this would be what? Testes, yes. Epididymis, spermatic cord. Now remember, the spermatic cord contains within it the vas deferens. So the vas deferens is right here. This line, this structure right here. This is the bladder. So if it runs parallel to the bladder, it's the vas deferens, okay? If it comes out of the bladder, this structure here, this is the ureter. This is the ureter, okay? Got it so far? Now a couple of glands. Do you see this gland here? That's the prostate gland. Now do you see this honeycomb-shaped structure here? These are the seminal vesicles, the seminal vesicles. If we open him up, here's the prostate gland again. This is the bladder. This is the prostate gland. Do you see this duct right here? That's the ejaculatory duct, the ejaculatory duct, right? Got it? And here, is the pubic synthesis. You can't see it very well on this model, but this is the pubic synthesis right here. Okay? Now, one other thing. The pouch-like structure that houses the testes is known as what? That would be the scrotum, yes? Okay, now there's one more thing that I want to show you guys. Okay, so here's the scrotum, here's the penis, looks like it's uncircumcised, but what do we care? <laughs> corpus cavernosum, corpus spongiosum, urethra, right? Now, this here is the testes, and within the testes are all of your seminiferous tubules. 
But if you take a very close look at the testes, do you see this inner portion right here? Right that circle in the middle? Yes. That is the reet testes. The reet testes. Got it? Yep. Okay, is that everything on the male pelvic system? Or the male pelvic model, I mean? You don't need to know the three different parts of the urethra. Just know the urethra. Do I have everything? The glans penis is this guy here. It's the tip of the penis. Do I have everything? Yes? Yes. Okay.